It wasn't too many years ago that the semiconductor market was hurting. That meant downsizing it on semiconductor in Pocatello, but things seem to be changing around. Joining us now to talk about that is John Spicer. He's the site manager for here in Pocatello. John, thank you for joining us Hi, this Matt. evening. It's good to be here. So some of my friends who work at On Semiconductor says it's, it's getting pretty busy out there. Tell me a little bit about how the semiconductor market has changed over the past few years and what's your outlook for the future? Well, I think here in Pocatello, when XAMI was purchased by On Semiconductor, we were able to utilize the markets and businesses that ON is involved with and then we were able to really penetrate the markets and be able to uh, enhance our manufacturing capability here with an infusion of capital and so it's helped Pocatello grow. And what do you see for the next couple of years? Well, I think that uh, there's going to continue to be a big push on the handheld and uh, wireless uh, products. And, you know, as we push forward on some of our new technologies in medical and automotive, uh, I think we'll continue to see, uh, see real positive things happen here. Well, good. Now, On Semiconductor recently applied for uh, a building permit for the Pocatello plant. Are you doing a little remodeling? <laughs> yeah, a little. Uh, we, we have been working with a uh, world leader in infrared uh, imaging technology, and we've been doing that for the last several years. And we've helped them to be able to improve the manufacturing costs and capabilities, and that, that, that is really growing. And so they're going to bring equipment, put it into our building, and we're going to provide the clean room and the engineering to be able to uh, further their, their business. Oh, cool. Now, recently you made a pretty significant donation to the University of Idaho. Tell me a little bit about that donation and your commitment to the university. To Idaho State University. Yeah. We, uh, we were, when they purchased the, the RISE building that they, what we're calling it now, we were able to provide them some of the equipment and, and uh, tools that were no longer needed uh, at on, and we were able to give them some of that equipment. And they're able to capitalize that and use it, and so uh, it gets uh, some reuse, and uh, we thought that was great. Okay. Now, ON has been involved with the Great Potato Poll every, every year, it seems like, <laughs> since it started. I think you right. guys are the actual ones who, who started that uh, right. fundraiser. What do you see as far as ON's uh, position in the community? Well, we we'll, we continue to support the Potato Bowl and others. Uh, we the employees are very strong contributors to United Way. One of the areas that we really like to be involved with is educating our youth, and especially in the science areas, to provide future employees and future talent uh, into the businesses like ours. And so I see us continuing to support ISU in those areas, oh, in nice. education especially. All right. And uh, last question, what do you see as far as hiring for ON? Well, you know, I, I certainly am not a, don't have a crystal ball, but, uh, you know, we've hired about 100 people in the last couple of years. Uh, we have a talented group of employees, and we are uh, working hard with the community and the community leaders to continue to provide a base so that we can grow in the future. Oh, fantastic. John, thank you so much for joining us this evening and thanks for all you guys do there at On Semiconductor. Thank it's, you very it's much. It's great to be here. Thanks, Matt.